Who is this dreadful God? How come we cannot live if we see Him in this present world? He is the holiest of holies. He is a spirit. He is light. He is a consuming fire. God see everything we do and hear, everything we said. Before we said a thing, He already knew it. In fact, before He created the earth, He already knew that we shall be born in our generation and everything we will think and do. God is sitting in His majestic throne in the tenth heavens, the highest and the largest star. And His footstool is the lower planet earth. Now, can you imagine how huge the Almighty God is? How big are His feet? Even His angels are giant, but too small in comparing to God. God is much bigger than all His creations. There are people who do not believe in God. If they only knew whom they were dealing with. If God will lie down, He needs to stretch the vast, immeasurable, and unreachable outer space so that he will fit in it. We are not even a speck of dust in comparing to his size and his stature. His eyes are seven times the strength and power of light of the sun. Our carnal body will disintegrate to see him. Enoch the seventh from Adam, when Michael led him into the tenth heaven and had brought in the book of the secrets of Enoch, in chapter 22, verse 1, on the tenth heaven, Arabot, I saw the appearance of the Lord's face like iron made to glow in fire, and brought out emitting sparks, and it burns. In Revelation, chapter 4, verse 1 to 45, after this I look and behold, a door was open in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I'll show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, inside like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment. And they had on their heads crowns of gold. Verse 45, and out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Moses talked to him in the burning bush. God took care and protected the Israelites in their journey on the way to the promised land. They hear his voice from the cloud by day and from the fire by night. The mountain shakes and was filled with smoke. When he talked to the people prior to giving the Ten Commandments to Moses, his voice is like a rumbling thunder that shook the surroundings. By using an unauthorized fire to their censors, incense contrary to God's command, fire came out from the presence of the Lord and consumed the two priest sons of Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, died before the Lord. God rained fire to Sodom and Gomorrah. Fire and lightning came from God. It is written that when He returns, He will rain fire to punish, clean, and purify this whole planet Earth. In His throne in heaven, above the seat, overhead are continuous plants of lightning, and around and in the bottom are flaming fire. It is written in Deuteronomy, 4.24 and in Hebrews 12.29 God is a consuming fire. That is why we should revere, fear and obey Him. But always remember also 
that God is love. In Exodus 34, 6-7, And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children unto the third and to the fourth generation, to be able for us to see, live, and meet the one God and our Father, when He returns, is through the same body like us. He assumed and known as Yeshua or Jesus. The same human body He also called Son. He never called angels Son. They were created as a ministering spirit to serve God and us, His children, created in His own image. In Revelation chapter 21 verse 1 to 7, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice, out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful.